This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Bakari Farm 2K22. But before that, this video is brought to you by Favor Farming and Bala Patru Sapte. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Bari, or Bakare Farm 2K22 can be found over at the farming simulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for all platforms. This is a Brazilian map. It has four grain cell points. It also has a lumber yard, a BGA, four areas to purchase water. There is a starting farm kind of in town. And then there is a much larger farm that you can buy later on that has chickens and cows as well as several sheds. This map includes the ability to produce soybean oil at the oil mill. This map also has coffee added to it. And as such, it does have a required mod. Now, a required mod is not listed on the web page description. I would like to have seen that. But if you do download this map, you will need to use the coffee harvester if you do plan ultimately on putting coffee trees down. Coffee bushes, coffee trees, whatever they are. Let's go ahead and load on it. We are going to use the mods that we typically use when we take a look at maps. It is additional field info, additional game settings, field lease, field calculator, and precision farming. In addition, we have the Jatco K3500. That is the required mod. That is the coffee har harvester that you are going to need to use if you do coffee on this map. Let's go ahead and load up the map with the log so we can see how things load in. I will say if you load this map up in farm manager mode or start from scratch, the main farm is exactly how you see it here in new farmer mode, including the fact that you do have starting machinery at the starting location in all play modes. And here we are, people, at the starting location. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. You're gonna see that we start out up here kind of in town. Take a look at the lands area. We start out by owning the small starting farm, which is $25,000 to buy. We also have field 13 to our ownership. That is $63,000. The large farm that we can buy once we have a half million dollars, it's going to be down here. It's 34,000, sorry, 34 acres and $553,000 to buy. Pretty much everything on the map can be bought as far as viable lands. We also have this little small area here in town that you can buy, but for whatever reason, and I'm going to go ahead and buy it, for whatever reason, the gate here, we can't use. So I really don't think it's that usable as far as a viable land because we can't get into the area to put any sort of small sleep trigger down or anything else. Let's go back here. We do have all our standard crop types available to us in Farm Sim 22, as well as black bean and coffee beans. We take a look at our farmland lease screen. We use the farmland lease screen to see all of the Bible farmlands, how big those farmlands are, if those farmlands include any fields, which fields they are, and then ultimately how much the farmlands are going to cost. I'm going to slowly scroll through this list, and you will see that we do have some pretty large Bible areas that are a couple million dollars. That is going to be areas that are going to associate with rather large fields. In fact, we're going to take a look at our field calculator screen, and this is going to show us all of the viable fields on the map, how big those fields are. And you can see we've got some pretty large fields here. We've got field 8, 61 hectares in size. Field 6, 54 hectares in size. We've got several fields in the 20s. And then we have field 10, which is 43. And then we've got some smaller fields, like Little Wolf Field 12, 0.78 hectares in size. Now we do have the standard crop counter available to us here in Farm Sim 22. And if we take a look at our prices screen, you will see that we do indeed have the ability to sell all of the standard crops that we have available to us here in Farm Sim 22 on this particular map. We also have the ability to sell our eggs, wool, and milk, silage, hay, straw, grass, and wood chips. When we get down here to production note, you're gonna see that we do have one striking exception. And that is we do not have the ability to sell planks. 
I don't know why, because we do have a sawmill on the map that can produce planks, but we do not have the ability to sell planks. So if you do buy the sawmill, you're going to need to make sure you put down a carpentry facility so you can further process those planks or put down a sell point so that you can then sell those planks. We do have the ability to buy bulk lime as well as a stone crusher. And then you can see we do have coffee beans, black beans, and roasted coffee, as well as soybean oil as far as added crops and added production. Now we do start out with a small list of starting equipment. It does have some usage on it. These pieces of machinery are not so well maintained either. So they're not going to have a whole lot of residual value. If you are one person that likes to just sell off all the starting equipment, you're not going to get as much money as you might think, given the fact that this has some high operating hours and they all need service for the most part, other than our bucket and our cultivator, planter. I'm not sure what that is. We'll find out in a minute. This map does not have any animals at the start. We do have chickens and cows at the other farm that we can buy. We do have contracts available. We do not own any production chains at the start. And this map does include 10 collectibles. Let's go ahead and take a look. Back up here, we have forgotten once again. Let's take a look at our precision farming soil map and see how it is applied to this particular map. Now we are taking a look at the generic soil map and what is rather interesting here is you may notice that field four is not uncovered at all. So when I take a look at the soil map, I run a command that uncovers all of the farmland and we can then see obviously the soil map that is underneath. You see here we've got a nice mix of silty clay and loam to the north and south and then intermix we've got sandy loam and loam Kind of patched all over the place but oddly enough field four is not showing here what is underneath it now field four is a viable field and right now field four is loaded up with gosh what is it loaded up with it says it's loaded up with sorghum but it's not apparently properly defined with respect to showing up here as the soil map and this area up here is rather interesting we're going to see when we get around to the fly around. This is dirt. It's a painted dirt texture that is spread across half of the map, half of the field. Sorry. So it is kind of interesting. We don't have soil listed for field 13, which is a field that we own at the start, nor do we have soil listed here for number four. But we do have soil listed for all of the other fields on the map. With that, let's take a look at our starting fleet. Start out with the Massey Ferguson 6718S medium tractor, the John Deere T560 harvester. We have the Kloss Karat 140TD trailer. We have the John Deere 625X grain header and the John Deere 608C corn header. For our harvester, we have the Amazon Cinto 4000 super cultivator. We have the 4500 2C Super Planter. We have then the front loader arms for our Massey Ferguson and the Universal Bucket. Now this map does not include any additional mods or DLCs built into the map. But of course, we do have the Jacko K3500 as a required mod for the coffee beans if we do put those down. Let's go ahead and take a look at our crop or at our paintable textures as well as other buildings that may be a part of this particular map. We have a hay shed right here that is custom we can put down. As far as silos, we do have a rather large silo complex that is a part of the other viable farm that we can put down. It holds 3 million liters worth of product. No custom silo extensions, tools, containers. Then we do have a custom farmhouse, which is the farmhouse that is down at the other farm. As far as production go, we do have the ability to put down the custom oil mill that does make soybean oil. No custom cell points or greenhouses. We do have coffee that we can put down. So that has been added here under orchards. No custom generators. While we do have a custom cow area and 
chicken area over at the other farm. We do not have the ability to put those down later on. All of standard fences and other such is standard with respect to Farm Sim 22. And if we take a look at our paintable textures, right? So we have our animal mud, asphalt, we have cobblestone, dirt, more dirt, and then the custom dirt that I was saying that was across that one field. Another dirt, which is really lime. Then we have our forest ground, our grass, and then we have some gravel. So we have our gravel, forest ground, grass back there. This is listed as dirt, but it sure does look kind of like lime to me. And then here we have that custom texture that we're going to see kind of scattered across the map in the areas. And it is that whole swath across field four is this painted dirt texture. So we have our animal mud, asphalt, cobblestones, and then our different shades of dirt. Now, I don't know if we really need to do a farm tour because, well, here it is. This is our starting area, and the starting area is fixed. We do not have the ability to sell the shed, nor do we have the ability to sell this house. This house does not have a sleep trigger, but the other farm does. Again, the other farm is located right here, and it is not owned at the start, but it can be bought for $553 thousand dollars and we will be buying this particular piece of land when we do get around to our drive around that way we can drive down there and check it all out with respect to the triggers and such so with that let's go ahead and take to the skies and uh fly around the map and check things out this map has Four productions built in. We have the BGA, we have a timber facility, a sawmill, as well as the oil mill and a coffee factory. So here we have the town, and this is the area that I mentioned that is viable, but for whatever reason, we do not have the ability to open the gate at this particular plot of land. So we do not have a gate that we can open. As you can see, we don't have a trigger there. One thing I do want to check because I didn't have an opportunity to try this earlier. I didn't think to try this earlier is can I get rid of the gate by demolishing it? No, I cannot. So I'm not really sure what the deal is, why we have this as a viable property when we do not have the ability to get rid of the gate. And you may say to yourself, well, maybe it's because we can buy this right here, which is the football field well, let me go back here stand in front of this and we're going to go to our lands area and you're going to see that we are standing right in front of the area that is viable and this is the football field we can see the goal posts there and that is clearly not part of that little viable plot over here we have our vehicle shop we're going to be coming back to it Nice little John Deere logo painted in the grass. We have our dairy cell point, our fuel depot. Starting field number 13. And again, this field, for whatever reason, did not come up with the soil map. And you'll see that when we are over this area, we're not getting our field info. This is more like a placeable area than it's acting as if it is a field. Here we have our coffee production facility. We have our custom oil mill. We have a grocery type cell point. Then we'll head out of town and make our way across the northern edge of the map. See, the map is fairly flat. It is not totally flat. We will see that we do have some rolling fields and rolling hills across 
the large southern fields and here we have that large or here we have a patch of that interesting ground texture we have our animal dealer we have our bale cell point I believe I misspoke. That's not our animal dealer. That is a grain cell point. Here we have our animal dealer. And lo and behold, we have ourselves some cows. They're static cows, but they're cows nonetheless. We have our animal dealer right there. And here we have field four. We do have field info coming up, but then, like I said, we've got this giant area here that is just dirt. So you're not going to be able to plant this unless you plow it up and use the create fields function to convert this from a painted dirt land until you get into the field. Because you can see over here, we don't have our field info screen. We have field info there because, well, that is the field. This is just dirt. And here we have our lime mine with our stone crusher. Across the eastern edge of the map, we have our biogas plant. We have our sawmill slash um, pallet production point for our planks. But remember, we cannot sell planks. So we will have to either put down a cell, anything cell point for those, or we'll have to put down a carpentry shop in order to produce something that we can sell. Got another grain cell point located right here. Then we'll make our way over and fly over the large farm that we could buy for half a million dollars. That's a very large cow pasture located below. Now, with respect to this particular facility, there are only a few buildings that we can actually sell. We can sell the hay barn, which is located right here. Remember, it was something that we can also put down. We can sell the silo system, and we can sell the farm. But everything else on this farm is permanently affixed. So we are going to give the map a full point with respect to production. We do have four production areas. And you could say that field 13, which really isn't a field, is an area set aside for the placement of production. Or if you wanted to, you could plow that up and make it into a true field. So we are going to give the map a full point there. We're going to give the map three quarters of a point with respect to having the ability to sell all of our crops, animal outputs, and base game productions because for whatever reason we are missing the ability to sell planks so we are going to have to knock down a little bit of the score with respect to that here we have another grain sell point with respect to can the farms be customized since the main starting farm in a new farmer mode cannot be customized and since a fair chunk of the farm that we could buy cannot be customized we are going to give the map just a half a point with respect to can the farms be customized? We have another grain cell point located right here. And then now we are making our way back up to town so we can go to the vehicle dealership, get our Mahindra, and then drive around the map. We have our fuel point. As I said earlier, the dairy, then our vehicle shop. Go on in here and grab our Mahindra. We have a fairly large area around the back for our vehicles to spawn in at quite a substantial area in fact 
not the most narrowest of gates in order to get out so we should have a decent opportunity to get out but we might have an issue with making some of these turns these poles do have collisions on them so you have to be aware of that so overall driving down the road we might not have the easiest time with super large machinery but i don't see too much of a problem with respect to buying a lot of machinery and getting it out of the shop here we have our customized sell trade repair and repaint trigger down here at the shop and let's just see the doors do not appear to open Now, with respect to buildings using the new texture technique and such, we are going to give the map just a half a point there because the map buildings, for the most part, are not using the new texture technique. We do have a custom, a couple custom brown textures. Some of them may be using the new technique. Some of them are not. Like the new dirt texture really just did not look like it was using that new technique. Look kind of flat overall. So here we have our dealership, not a dealership, we have our gas station. We also have a, another kind of maintenance trigger located here at the gas station. We have our dairy. our cell point for our milk we'll make our way back behind the dealership and again this is where we are going to find our coffee production as well as our custom oil mill that does have the ability to make um, sun or soybean oil. So in here we have our dump point for our coffee beans. And then inside the facility, we have our interactive icon up here at the machinery. Four hundred and thirty-seven thousand dollars. Ooh. $437,000 to buy this coffee facility. Then we have our pallet spawn point for our roasted coffee. So we have our grocery cell point over here Keep on. slight wrong turn must have hit an oil slick so we have a cell point right here our oil mill Pallet. We have our dump point and in our interactive trigger at the back door. We do have a cell point also located right here. That is the Porta fruit cell point. Our starting farm is located right here on the other side of this wall. And now make your way across the northern edge of the map.
We are going to come to our first large grain cell point. Let's go over the scale and then through the dump house. We have a bale cell point located right here. And then we'll move over to our animal dealer. We do have some really large fields on the map. For the most part, most of them are square or square-ish in shape. So we have our ammo dealer. don't have any animal areas yet because we haven't bought that alternate farm. That is some well planted corn. Now we'll go down to the almost obligatory Lime mine. I know back in FS17 we had quite a few Brazilian maps, and just about every single one of them had a open pit lime mine of one design or another. Whoa. Take it easy there, Hoss. down into the mine. We do have our lime buy point. We come in here with a trailer. And we have our stone crusher. It's a rough road in here. You're going to want to take your time coming down through the road. Or, quite frankly, you could just right over here on the grass it's a lot smoother oh, he's trying to make me he's trying to make me drive on his road oh I have none of that so we have our stone crusher to the bottom of the pit. Our lime by point. And now we have to start the climb up out of this hole. But these lime pits, they do add a nice little kind of flare to the map. So let's show get dizzy driving in a uh, constant turn. We wind our way up. We've made it. Let's make our way down the eastern edge of the map, just like we did on our flyover tour. Here we have our biogas plant, and while the triggers are not showing up, 
if we buy the land, they will show up. Actually, I need to apologize for you because we cannot buy the biogas plant. The biogas plant is not viable. So what does that mean? Well, I think what that means is we are pretty much stuck not being able to use the biogas plant because we do not have a way of actually purchasing it. We don't have any interactive trigger showing up to where we could kind of come up to it and buy it. We do have silage triggers popping up. Let's just see. Come over here. Is it maybe hidden? So there may be an update coming to kind of rectify that situation. So I added money to my account. I went to buy the land here and then it just wasn't, it wasn't viable. I'll tell you this dirt down here is slick. Like a snot. So here we have our sawmill. We do have a standalone log cell point located right here. So we can put logs here and sell them. Or if we come around to this side of our log stack, we have a log cell point that is associated with our production. So we have our interactive trigger, our wood cell trigger. Around the back, we have our pallet plank spawn point and then our wood chip point. We'll make our way to another large rain cell point. You may notice now the triggers are showing up down at the other viable farm. We have now purchased that piece of property. Here we have the grain cell point for that. And I have to say, a lot of these Rosea maps, they, they feel a lot alike. Now, I do know that this particular map author has released another map here in Farm Sim 22, so it is quite possible that this map borrows a fair bit of items from that other map. But it just feels like a lot of these cell points are very very similarly laid out to other brazilian maps there we have our secondary farm our larger farm i can see it set up so that we would basically buy this after we had established ourselves quite a bit with our starting area to the north this particular farm we have our farm house where we do have a sleep trigger and a wardrobe trigger at this location so our wardrobe our sleep and again we can sell the house we can also sell our silo complex so we have our fill pipe We have our dump station. Three million liter capacity on this picker silo. These open sheds are permanent. They cannot be sold. 
The chicken coop here is permanent. It cannot be sold. So we have our buy point for our chickens. 200 chickens. We have our egg point. We have our food trough. Only one of the two buildings over here to the right can be sold. The first building is permanent. The one with the door can be sold. This is the one listed in our placeables as a hayloft. The brick buildings over here to the right are permanent. We have one with a workshop trigger located here at the end. want to see do we have buy triggers here we do have the ability to buy bulk seed and I would assume we're gonna have the ability to buy bulk fertilizer you have a water buy point located right there oh, see it again Maybe it's seed and liquid fertilizer based on a pallet. We have a cow pasture, 450 cows for this particular facility. We have our milk, water, and food trough, and then and sorry, straw is going to be inside of there. Just check our animals. We've got our standard, standard food stuffs. And now we'll make our way over to the final two points of interest. Two more grain cell points. Stones across the field. Sorry, across the road. Now, we didn't see it during the fly around. I think maybe this time around there were some crops in the field, but when I was looking at the map earlier, I did notice it looked like there were some stones that had been painted across parts of the fields in some interesting patterns. So, you may find some stones already existing on some of these fields even if you have stones turned off we are coming into another grain cell point make our way down to the southwest corner for the final grain cell point on the map now with respect to are the player interactive triggers clearly marked i feel they are i'm not going to take off anything with respect to the bga because i'm sure the map has been set up to have the triggers pop up if you own the land the only problem is the land isn't actually viable so we are going to give the map a full point there. We are going to give ultimately the map 3.75 out of 5. Remember, we gave the map a half a point with respect to building textures using the new technique. A lot of these buildings that are on the map are using older flat textures. We did give the map a half a point with respect to farms being customizable because the starting area is not customizable at all. The larger farm can be customized a small amount. So we are going to give the map a half point there. And we are going to take a quarter of a point off with respect to the fact that we do not have the ability to sell planks on the map. So that is how we have derived ourselves a 3.75 out of 5. And here we have the final brain cell point. Always make sure you drive to the scale. 
Then we have our dump station. So guys, let me know what you all think down in the comments below for Bactory Farm 2K22. Another Brazilian map representing South American farming. Why travel the globe when you can virtually experience what it's like in other countries with a game like Farm League Simulator 22. And until next time, happy farming.